South LA man high fives and donates to the homeless on wild police chase. Florida man, is it possible to learn this power? A chaotic good Florida man would make me fully support Florida man. Right now I only half support Florida man because at least he makes everyone think about being interesting. Since we're all talking about leaving Twitter again, can I bring back the idea of migrating to LinkedIn en masse and just totally destroying the professional vibe over there? Yes, please. <laughs> Do it. LinkedIn is okay as a platform, but oh my God, it's so hollow. Thinking about how in Korean traditional theater, there was a monster called that, uh, Young No, which eats rich people. And if he eats a hundred of them, it gets to go to heaven. Ah, cool. Um, where, where would I get one of these? Asking for, for, for friends. Please remember that when Doomguy was ordered to fire on unarmed civilians, he punches commanding officer, and that's why he was sent to Mars. Be like Doomguy. I feel like be like Doomguy should have an asterisk after it, but I'm not gonna be the one to put it there. What's the first thing you would do if you were invisible for a day? I would probably fly to Paris, find a street performing mime, and beat him to death. The applause he would get would be astounding. Same. Actually, no, I would just puppet him around, like grab his, his wrists and like dance him around behind him as he slowly begins panicking. We're proud to launch one of our most challenging projects to date, the Uncensored Library. Oh, I've heard of this. We've built a virtual library in Minecraft, which bypasses press censorship in oppressive regimes. Our library is filled with censored articles, journals, and information on press freedom. Fortunately, Minecraft is still accessible in these countries, so our virtual library creates a backdoor, which allows gamers worldwide to reach this material. Find out more at this website and built by Blockworks. Absolutely wonderful. Circumvent all that BS. Nothing makes me happier than seeing people circumvent oppressive governments as those oppressive governments learn that respect is earned, not deserved. My fracking sister got me $50 in singles and wrapped each individual dollar. Good job. <laughs> it's not as bad as a bouquet of singles, but it's pretty bad. Watch Florida man steal a car, realize baby is in it, drops baby off safely before making his getaway. <laughs> He's more responsible than whoever left a baby in a car alone. Okay, I don't I don't know the entire story, but the way this reads, it seems like the car was carjacked, but m maybe the car was also just running in a parking lot. I don't know. Good guy. Well done. In the 1630s, there was a song only played in the Sistine Chapel. The Vatican kept the composition of Miserere Mea, sorry, Miserere Mei Deus, secret for 150 years until 14-year-old Mozart listened to it two times, transcribed it from memory, and produced the first unauthorized copy. This is one of the earliest records of musical piracy. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch out for those people with perfect pitch. We'll just... We'll just write your music down. All we have to do to steal your music is hear it. I downloaded all 10,000 of those ugly la Lazy Lions NFTs and uh, turned them into a mosaic of a person right-clicking. <laughs> Finally, a good use for NFTs. Being nice is so easy. Just do it. Positive graffiti, I approve. The first thing our new hire did was fix a bug that's been bugging him forever as a user prior to joining. He then breathed a sigh of relief and submitted two weeks notice. What the frack? I've heard this story before. I don't know if it's just being copied or what, but this is also something I would do because so many apps don't support text-to-speech. I would work there until all of the text was selectable by text-to-speech and then I would leave. I worked at McDonald's for two and a half years and I put 11 nuggets in almost every 10 piece I made. Cody, you're a hero. Thinking about the homeless man in Austin who I used to pay $15 to wash my car while I went out and one night I came back and all the cars around mine were broken into except mine and he was sitting on my hood and and said, I ain't let them touch this one, Miss Kenzie. Oh my God, that's that's kind of magical. I, I'm also glad that you were giving money to him to like to do something. That's just a positive transact. I like this. A 27 year old Jackson, Mississippi man was arrested over the weekend for hacking into the Hines, Hines County Human Services Department and approving all applications for food stamps. <laughs> After approving the applications, he then had cards mailed out to new applicants, all totaling $2,500 each. Current card holders were also awarded 2,500 credits. His bond was set at $100,000 and has since bonded out. More on this story tonight at 10 p.m. Fox News. More on this story tonight 
on how the entire town is just gonna fund this man's lawyer and trial and he better get off scot free. Magical. Hey, secret police. If you ever kidnap me and throw me in a rental van, I will schnitz so bad inside that van. I, oh, sorry. I hope you unconstitutional arses are ready to pay $1,700 to get my grown man feces out of that Chrysler Pacifica and whatnot. <laughs> That's a defense. A bank robber named Pretty Boy Floyd was known for destroying mortgage papers on heists, freeing hundreds of people from property debt. What a beautiful man. Most of those hostile designed benches to keep homeless people from sleeping in public, they are usually just regular benches with the bar in the middle, middle attached later with a few hex nuts and bolts, not welded. In other words, you can get them off with practically any wrench. That fits. I have liber been liberating my parks in my city all day now. It takes maybe a few minutes for each bench. The only problem is finding a place to dispose of the junk bar when you're done without loading trash cans past capacity. Anyway, it's easy, it's helpful, and it's praxis. I'm not looking for a job, but I send out applications periodically just so I can ask about the salary range and tell them it's too low no matter what it is. Doing my part to get the rest of you paid. Ah, that's kind of wonderfully sweet. 1989, a 15-year-old boy in Indiana who acquired the alias Fry Guy accessed the mainframe of McDonald's <coughs> mainframe uh, after acquiring the password from a store manager and increased the pay rates of his friends who worked there. Wonderful, beautiful, and excellent. The single most important thing a man can do to be an ally is give his woman's woman friends permission to give dudes at the bar his number so when they call, he can angrily say, that's not funny because she died 15 years ago that very night. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a, that's a mood killer. That's excellent. Group of furries beat a person who was assaulting a homeless man and his dog. Good work, furries. I hope they never find the body. My annoying landlord. I pay this britch $1,800 every fracking month, and all she does is complain about is making too much noise walking around. So I bought a dog whistle and blow it all hours of the day and night. Now I complain how much her dog barks and keeps me up. That's the ultimate petty move, and I applaud you. I applaud you, but I also feel bad for the dog. I wish we could communicate to the dog that like everything's fine. Just please annoy the hell out of your landlord. My ex-girlfriend had a few too many shots of tequila in a party and passed out on the couch. When I went to check her, I noticed she pissed all over the couch. To avoid embarrassment, I filled up a bucket with water and threw it over her to disguise it as a prank. I'm that kind of boyfriend. She still has no idea. Now that's a chaotic good, chaotic evil. Pissing all over her to disguise the fact that she pissed herself. There's always one. He used Snapchat's gender switch filter to pose as a 16 year old girl online and take down a police officer allegedly looking to hook up. He tipped off the PD and the officer was arrested. Our exclusive interview with the man and why he did it at 11 on NBC Bay Area. Good job, good freaking job. After many cocks, the first black female postmaster was pressured out of her pet post in Mississippi. President Theodore Roosevelt continued to pay her salary and punished the town by rerouting their mail 30 miles away until they gave her back the position. Teddy Roosevelt is just such a mad lad. I love him. The more random people you see jogging for no reason, the higher the rent is going up. This is so true. I heard a gunshot coming from my neighbor's yard late at night a few weeks after I moved in. I went to check it out. When I approached him, he told me he does it once every month or so just to keep the broader property value and taxes at a reasonable level. I'm used to it now. That's, that's beautiful. <laughs> Ancient evil awakens. Morals and ethics have changed so much in the last 10,000 years that the ancient evil is considered pretty moderate by today's standards. I will topple your empires and your kings. I will drain the wealth from your coffers and elevate your serfs and servants until they stand on the same ground as the mightiest of emperors. Women shall freely speak their minds unbound by the fetters you have set and the lines between man and woman shall be hopelessly blurred and shattered into a thousand facets 
Your children shall fall into one another, regardless of sex or class or wealth, and none shall raise a hand or word against them. The age of crowns and boundaries and divine right shall end, and it shall fall to each human to choose their... Wait, 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 why are you cheering? I'm the host of a yet another HGTV show about renovating houses for rich people, and when the couple comes to see their new beachfront property, I lead them to the door in blindfolds, and then I have them remove them and open their front door, and behind it is nothing. The entire house is gone. I tell them I used the budget to restore the crucial sand dunes ecosystem that existed there before. Look, I say, there's native coastal strawberry. The wife asks if this is a joke. The husband starts crying. I tell them both this was in the waiver they signed. They leave. I get ready for my next property. Actually kind of in favor of this for beaches. Still think you have a high risk of being shot. Three cheers for Daniel Uhlfelder, a Stanford-educated lawyer who is showing up at beaches across America in full Grim Reaper attire to protest that they're opening up prematurely in the middle of a pandemic. Amazing. Uh, please don't die of heat stroke. I am slightly mixed on this one because I, uh, I fail to see how you can actually close a beach. That part just never compute. It's a beach. It is the sea. Just let Poseidon know that nobody, you know, nobody's allowed on the coast. Like if the entrance to that beach is closed, you find another entrance and you walk to it. It is a beach. You can't close it. <laughs> A man who had a few too many alcoholic beverages ordered an Uber for a baby goldfinch that he found struggling on the ground. The baby bird was the sole passenger on the ride to a wildlife re- <laughs> What a wonderful man. So the company we pay, our rent who sent a very condescending mass email to all tenants about paying rent and forgot to BCC all emails. And now all the tenants have started a rent strike. Well. Oh, isn't technology a wonderful thing? My bike was stolen last week, and yesterday I saw it for sale on Craigslist. So I messaged the seller, met him at McDonald's, and when I noticed it was 100% my bike, I dumbly asked to take it for a ride. He said, yeah, just don't ride off, which is exactly what I did. I stole my bike back. Good work! <laughs> my bike was stolen twice in New York, and the first time our building superintendent actually saw it on the street, somebody riding it, and basically bullied the guy on it into admitting he stole it, paid him $20 to get off the bike, brought my bike back, which was amazing, and then it was stolen the next week, and then I never saw it again. <laughs> Thank you, building superintendent. I'm sorry, it was for nothing.